There are signs of a thunderstorm in the distance. Passengers are restless after an unexpected four-hour delay getting off the ground. Flight attendant Adriana Cardenas Medina is working hard to settle passengers, many heading to the small island for a holiday. The flight was running late because it was coming from Cali, and it was late due to poor weather. They said it was running two hours behind, but it actually ended up being twice that. Prior to beginning our descent into San Andres, we began to experience some light turbulence. Ladies and gentlemen, please return to your seats and fasten your seat belts. It was raining, there was lightning, a lot of lightning, and the turbulence started to intensify. Now past the halfway point of the trip, the captain is increasingly concerned with the possibility of heavy storms gathering over their destination. It doesn't look like we're going to get any relief from this storm. Yeah, lots of activity tonight. Closer to San Andres, the already bumpy ride is getting worse and worse for the passengers. Look out, Captain. The first officer now realizes they are too low to make a safe landing. Can you make it? Captain. The captain pulls back on his control column, but it's too late. We felt a hard and sudden crash. At 1.47 a.m., Ares 8250 slams into the ground with 131 passengers and crew on board. Inside the front section of the airplane, flight attendant Adriana Cardenas Medina has survived the horrific crash. When you think of boarding an aircraft, you imagine leaving it in the same manner. Not forcibly or in pain, fear, frustration. It's something you can never imagine happening. The crash and destruction of Flight 8250 is quickly becoming a major international news story. A plane crashed this morning in Colombia. The 737 broke apart upon hitting the ground. The Colombian Aeronautical Authority needs to find out what brought down one of the most widely used passenger planes on Earth. <laughs> 